hello YouTube yeah how's that good start is this enticing you to watch more of the video is it I don't think it is is it oh well never mind whatever <clears throat> let's get cracking bit of dark age dark age dragon souls oh my god dragon age origins that's what we're playing pow look at that I've even got the game logo look at this look at that oh, wow the things you can do with a few brushes in GIMP oh amazing <coughs> now let's get cracking let's get in there and resume what's our loading text you have entered the city of Ozamar, which is in turmoil. The throne stands empty and the assembly is deadlocked. Unable to decide between Prince Balin, Edwan, and Lord Pyral Harrowmont, the city is tearing itself apart over the crown, and there seems to be no one willing or able to hear your plea for something or other that just... just got out of reach there. Didn't quite have enough time to... Uh, oh! Hello. What's this? Get out of my way, Morrigan. You're causing a ruckus. <coughs> Reach for the box trees. Can we put a box in a box? I'm pretty sure we could put a box in a box. I'm pretty sure there are many, many different boxes of different sizes, and the larger ones would certainly accommodate the smaller ones. On a global scale, I imagine you could probably put every box in the world inside another box. Oh no, hang on a minute, there's always going to be one box left, unless we have an infinite number of boxes. Or some kind of four dimensional box that can be inside itself. But we don't have any of those things. Well, not that we can see. I mean, I could be surrounded by four-dimensional boxes and I'd have no fucking clue. I, no idea. I would go and reach for a tree, but it's cold and dark. And it's so lonely outside. Now, <clears throat> I'm kind of disoriented now. It's been a few days since I last played. I know I'm in Orzammar. The loading screen text established that readily enough. But what was I doing? What was my current engagement in Orzammar? Let's see who this is. Shaper assistant Mildred. Disgusting. Someone stole from the Shaper. Memories have never seen such a thing. Unbelievable. Did you get a good look at him? I did. He was bald, with the most garish brand across his head. Almost like he took pride in being castless. Imagine. Oh, imagine. Unbelievable. He's probably in the slum somewhere. As if he'd find a buyer for a stolen tome in Dust Town. But they couldn't know the value. <sighs> You people are all so classist. I really think we should sort this out. <clears throat> I'm hoping I'll get my opportunity to uh, bring the very foundations of their society to rubble. I mean, you know, I'm a mover and a shaker. My plot line spans all the way around the world. Well, all around the region. <clears throat> I'm fighting demons. The least you could do to help me avoid the coming apocalypse is... Uh, just put aside all your differences. Now what I was doing was I was attempting to find Harrowmont. I'm not sure where Harrowmont's emissary is, but I think he was in the Royal Palace if I remember correctly. The Legion of the Dead <coughs> Minus three Fahrenheit. I am unaware of the co conversion between Fahrenheit and whatever the C it is we use over here in Europe. I don't know if it's centigrade or Celsius, but whichever one it is. Oh, what's, what's an insult? Sorry. Oh, uh, the whole election thing. Yeah, okay. yeah so I, I don't know. Minus three, but minus is pretty in extreme in Fahrenheit, isn't it? I don't know. I'm getting into a little uh, sidetracking there. A little bit of a physics discussion. Is it physics? Is it chemistry? Who knows? What, what region of science does the study of temperature fall under? Can we establish that this Come evening? Can none of you reach for Google? Come, let us learn. Ooh, the commons. Is that a good place to go? I don't know, there's some steps around here. <coughs> Pardon me. Okay, no, no, we started here. This is what... There's people just leaving scrolls on the floor. Oh, a codex on dwarven proprietary. Oh, pro pro I don't know. I may have pronounced that wrong. I didn't really look at the word. I just saw a thing beginning with P stand up that looked like proprietary, but that doesn't sound wrong. Propriety? Propriety? The more I say it, the less it sounds like a word. Diamond Maul. Diamond Maul? I mean, what value as a weapon does that really have compared to the uh, value of a great big weapon head made out of diamond? I mean, you could sell that. Oh no, no more criers. I've had enough of your uh, wailings. 
<clears throat> 19 point4 you, you're not even across the border in Canada you, you're still in America how can it get so cold is that allowed isn't there a rule against that they should make a law you poor poor Americans right I'm pretty sure I've missed something in the shaper I went there for something did I do something I don't know we've established that there's some guy running around <clears throat> in the uh, the dust town who's uh, knit something from here great are you with that warrior girl who's always here I don't know what you're talking about sorry I, I started to worry I didn't know if you were ever coming back did you find any records any sign of the old Orton Tig? Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. Uh, I'll let you know if I find something. I haven't been and done whatever it is you said I should do. Don't start asking me if I've completed my quest before I've even bloody walked away. Although, I, admittedly, I did walk away. Oh no, we've exhausted the Shaper's conversation options. I think that was my condition for finishing the last uh, Are you stream. For records of the Grey Wardens? We have many. It could be useful, <coughs> pardon me, but I'm not entirely sure how exciting a stream of me reading all of the background material for Dragon Age Origins is going to be. I'm sure people come for the gameplay, not just for me reading text off the screen. Oh my goodness, Kiezu snuck under the bot, but only temporarily. The Sauron-like implacable gaze of my bot takes in all and is lost by nothing. Lost by nothing? That was a completely nonsense statement. Let's just go in the chamber of the assembly. Something's going to happen in here, right? Something cool? We got a quest? What's this chris up over his ear? Oh, I see. It's like little lyrium stalactites and stalagmites or whatever. Crystals behind some uh, wavy glass. Warden, <coughs> is always a blessing for Orzammar. Host. Great. I am Bartag de Horn, top advisor to our good Prince Balin. What news do you bring? Let's see. Well, I do need aid against the Blight. He does know who I am. The treaty does oblige Orzammar to send troops to the surface. Who is Prince Balin is a pertinent question, I'm not entirely sure. I have nothing to say to you. Seems a bit pointless to really engage in conversation if that's what I'm going to say. And Dulin Forender has asked me to fight in the Proving today. Okay, 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 let's not start backing a candidate before we know more about what's going on. This is uh, a little bit earlier. Oh, I see. You've got that frosty Canadian wind coming down from the north. The cold northern wind. Ah! <clears throat> Pardon me. A little bit of black metal for you there. Ah, right, okay. <clears throat> so, let's, let's start with a question. You know who I am? It would be hard not to notice the Grey Warden and his eclectic. I hear you seek the aid of Orzammar's finest. I do. All the dwarves are American. At least they've bunched the accents together, it would seem. Because uh, it's weird when you play a fantasy game and the accents are all over the place. You know, I've got American, Australian, English, whatever, all over the place. And then, you know, you've got no, no handle on it. Where are these people from? At least make some difference. Anyway, um, let's talk about the treaty documents indeed. These were signed in the reign of Eithnar Bimo, Paragon and King, <laughs> 16 generations ago. Now the difficulty is that the treaty only compels our king. We are sadly lacking one right now. He does have a certain, it's like a squashed version of me. If I was compressed vertically, although I'm sure it would crack my skull, it would make me look more like him. Although perhaps we could use some kind of lens structure just to distort the light bouncing off my face rather than physically modifying my entire skull. That would be a, an extreme step to take just for a little, uh, you know, a bit about a game. <clears throat> is there some way I could help? Can I talk to Balin? Battling the Blight is more important than politics. I've heard enough about your political difficulties. Shut up, you tiny man. Um, let's see if I can help. My prince is the rightful king, but a disappointing number of lords back the upstart Haramon on the throne. Oh. If you show your support for Prince Balin, he might be able to assist with your requests. Hmm. Hmm. What do I need to do? Um, no, we've talked about this. I thought King Endrin himself supported Haramon. Let's see what he says about that. 
that Harriman would take advantage of the Dying King's delirium to plant such poisonous suspicions against his own son. After that, you understand why Balin cannot trust the word of a stranger, however reputable that stranger might be. What must I do to prove my good intentions? I promise I am no spy. Then I will have to seek my aid from Harrowmont instead. Hmm. <sighs> these are dicey, these conversations, because I keep thinking I'm going to trip flags and they get all huffy and won't talk to me anymore. And, you know, that's suboptimal. I want to be able to explore the tree and uh, I'm crippled by my own indecision. I'm too much in the frame of mind of the... Um, Mass Effect dialogues where it's like one is nice, one is bad, and then there's some other you can learn shit stuff in the middle. Whereas this, some of them are nice, some of them are bad, but they're not sort of like categorised in a, a clear objective direction, if you see what I mean. Look, I'm babbling, I'm babbling, let's get back to the game. Oh my goodness, goodness, the chat's alive. Bare white planes. Mm. <coughs> okay, what must I do to prove? I oh, know I promise I am no spy. Would you be willing to prove that? How do I prove I'm not a spy? Is engaged in a campaign of bribery and coercion to ensure that every house serves him. But if a neutral party, a stranger, were to approach certain key members, perhaps with irrefutable evidence of Harriman's deception. Irrefutable evidence, which I suppose you have. I'm certain my Lord Prince would show his gratitude. Really? And what form would this gratitude take? Just tell me where to go. What kind of evidence? Forget it. I'm not doing Balin's doily work. See, that's Aramont my little New York accent there. The <laughs> two different dishes. Lady Dace and Lord Henry. Aramont can't possibly grant it to both of them. He can't but possibly. they won't find out until after the vote is cast. I have copies of the promissory notes Aramont gave each of them. Once they see those, they should both reconsider their votes. Okay, okay. So am I, by doing this, tipping the balance from one side to the other, or am I just sort of fussing around the edges? Because I don't mind fussing around the edges, but I don't know enough about these people to decide who should run a nation. And obviously, because of my plotline, this fate is resting in my lap. Oh dear, this is no good. The decisions are so heavy to be... Oh, Isn't there someone you could report him to? Where did you get the promissory notes? I'll have to think about this. That's not important. If they ask, say you found them while searching the Shaper's libraries for your tree. No, 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 no. I'm not lying in a bloody election. That's trouble. I'm getting deep doo-doo for that. I'll find Lady Decker. I have to think about this. I'm going to have to think about this. Don't expect this offer to last. If my prince hears you swore allegiance to his enemy, he won't be so friendly next time. I will be here if you change your mind. That's not sworn allegiance to anybody. What was the quest that I completed? Prince's favour. Hmm. Decide if you will help Prince Balin's cause and inform Vartag of your intent. Prince Balin will not give you an audience until you prove yourself trustworthy. Vartag Gavorn has asked you that, asked that you show Lord Helmy and Lady Dace promissory notes as evidence of Harriman's cheating ways. Vartag says Dace can often be found in tapsters in the commons, while Lord Helmy seldom leaves the Diamond Quarter. Vartag awaits your decision in the assembly chamber in the Diamond Quarter. Oh, 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 okay. They're just recapping that particular... Assembly is in session. Enter quietly if you wish to observe. I do wish to observe. Your mind has gone to dust if you think we would pass it or it. Half our houses would go broke without the surface trade. The proposal is only effective until we have a king to ensure we are respected by the surfacers. Leaving you conveniently positioned to take over all contracts. I'll see your head on a pike first. Deshers, lords and ladies of the assembly. I've already doubled the guard to prevent violence. Must I summon more? Steward Bandor, Balin's sympathizers are tying our hands with trivialities. They may as well open us to the sky. I suggest we put the matter to a vote. And I suggest you have a taste of my family's mace. Enough. The assembly is in recess until the members can regain control of their emotions. 
It's all getting a bit emotional in there. I've got a new screenshot apparently. I don't remember taking the screenshot, but nonetheless, I have it. So, who are you? Assembly Stuart Bandalore. Stone forsaken fools and dusters. I'm sorry. This is the assembly of the clans. Only dashers and occasional guests have stayed allowed in. You don't recognize a Grey Warden? I'm just observing. Pay me no mind. Forgive me. I am so exhausted. I completely forgot about the message from the Gate Guard. Welcome to Orzo, Warden. I hope you can forgive our unrest. The loss of our king has hit us hard. Respect for your role is great. But you won't receive a proper hearing until we have a king on the throne. Okay, is there any way I can break this stalemate? I must admit, I am at a loss myself. It lies with Prince Balin or Lord Harriman. They are slow to trust anyone in these uncertain times. Doolin Verender, Harriman's man, can be found at the Harriman's estate. Vartag Gavorn, Prince Balin's second, is often here in the assembly. I only wish there was more I could do for you. So do I. I wish that also. So this guy, he's for Balin, and the other guy's for Harriman. Now what is the difference? I may have to d dive into the law here. Let's, uh, what have we got here? My journal? <clears throat> well, what can we see? We can see the quests and the codex. Right, we're going to do the codex. Let's have a look. Culture and history. No, um, creatures? No. <laughs> Characters. Here we go. Alistair, Queen Honora, Balin, Edwan. This is a time for action, not cultured debate. Oh, I don't know, he sounds like a bit of a hothead to me. Third of King Endrin's children, Balin has always been considered the last and least of his family. Not the heir, nor the favourite, and not as accomplished as either sibling, Balin's most notable trait was his ability to stay out of trouble. Well, that does sound like a useful ability in a leader. You don't want to get in trouble. King Caelin Therin. Uh, nope. Sir Cothrain. Fuck it, that's my dog. Duncan, <coughs> Arl, Aemon, Guerin. Come on, where's the other guy? Ah, Harrimon, here we go. <coughs> Lord Pyrrell Hallomond. No one is born with rights to the throne. The sitting king may recommend a successor, but the assembly ultimately decides who will rule. House Harrimont is one of the oldest noble houses, as old as Orzammar itself. Endrin's most trusted advisor, Harrimont is well known for being an able administrator and the author of many compromises in the ever-warring assembly. I don't know, Harrimont sounds better than the other guy. The other guy sounds like a bit of a loser. Convince me that your prince is the guy. Convince me! So I can either represent one of them in the fighty fight pit, or I can. Oh, hello, who's this? Doolin, tell me more. Do you see how things lie, Warden? Lord Harriman cannot trust you in proof, but he welcomes a good faith gesture. What did you ask me to do again? Balin is hosting a proving tournament to honor his father's memory, but he somehow scared off most of Lord Harriman's fighters. If you can enter as Harriman's champion, you would prove your dedication well. Hmm. The Provings. Tell me about them. The Provings are how our ancestors show their judgment, pitting body against body in a ring of scared stone. Everyone in Orzammar accepts... That says sacred, not scared. I think a voice actor may have muffed that line up and nobody caught it. Um, okay, who is fighting for Balin today? How well do you know Lord Harriman? Here we go. I served under General Harriman for three years. Under his command, every dwarven life is important. He would not waste even a single soldier. Not a one. He is the king of our needs, especially in a blight. Balin would call any fight a victory so long as he remains standing. He does seem like a bit of a prick, but I don't want to be hoodwinked, so I've got to learn more. Um, I should get going. Have you decided then? Will you enter the provings in Harrowmont's name? I still haven't decided if I want to help you. Terry. The proving starts this afternoon. Does it now? Does it indeed? Oh, it's tough. It's tough. But let's see if we can head to the Dustlands, whatever it's called. Dust Town. Dust Town. News of the hour. 
Two more clans endorse Lord Balin as the new king. Change is inevitable. And it must come with um. Why should I uh, be silly? Let's look at the map. The Shaperate, Orzammar Chamber Assembly, Orzammar Royal Palace, House Harrimont, and the Orzammar Commons. So let's head back to the Commons. <coughs> Pardon. The Fade is a dream realm, where the spirits of all beings but dwarves go when they sleep. Only mages remain conscious once there, but others can... Curse these speedy loading times. Nug Wrangler Boromor. Boromor. I knew I should have stuck to common nugs. I've gone and lost them too. I'll never find them the way they scare me. No way I'm going back to that supplier in Dust Town. I guess I'm shutting it down. Uh, if I see any nugs, I'll send them your way. These things dangerous? You gotta boil them before roasting, but otherwise, no, safe as sand. Some people swear they make good pets. May as well leash a turnip, I say. If I see any nugs, I'll send them your way. Good on you, stranger. Only need one to turn this around. Okay. I have no clue what a nug is, but nonetheless, if I spot one... I should capture it and hand it over. What's this? This is Figor's inputs. I don't know. I'm going back in the shop. Hello. There's a nug! You wrangle the nug into a box ready for delivery. There you go. That wasn't too hard, was it? You could have gone and got that yourself. Go on. I'm out of the nug game. Got nothing to sell. I got a nug for you here. Saraka, I'm back in the game. Such as it is. I don't have much besides gratitude, but find a bunch more of these and I'll toss you whatever I found. Okay. Um, why not? Let's see if there's a nug down here because it seems like a dead end. You might as well explore it now. Ooh. It's a slightly more expansive dead end than I'd imagined, but a dead end nonetheless. Yeah, anyway, I can nug wranglers. Uh, nug wranglers? I can wrangle nugs. And that's probably more the appropriate way to put those words. <coughs> Where are we going? Let's have a look. Oh, there's the proving ground. Can I just go in there and kick ass in my own name and say, you lot, calm down. This system you've got for deciding who rules is stupid. The armourer. Dagnar, she's the girl who wants me to talk to the Chantry. Filda wanted me to go into the deep dark and find her friend, or her son, rather. That would probably be more accurate. Uh, there's a guy in there. The dust town's down here, right? Yeah, that's right. Dust town's down here. Strength increases the damage a character inflicts with physical attacks. It also influences a character's ability. <laughs> Change party. What? You crazy? I don't. I'll keep what I got. Thank you. Quest does it is a little bit exp uh, yeah. Let's not call it a quest. Let's call it a task or a, a little odd job. That's an odd job. Alamar's Emporium. I'm not interested in shops, yo. All I'm interested in is tomes. You dig? I need someone with a big face tattoo. Oh, it's the idle dwarf who's scared of the sky falling in. Is that a nug? It's dead, whatever it is. Pretty sure the guy only wanted live nugs. He's nugging it off. Didn't get enough of the architectural beauty of Dust Town. You need old Nadezda to play tour guide. Uh, not really. Actually, I'll I was just leave. out of your way then. You do that. Suspicious door. This door appears to be made of solid stone. There are no visible means of opening it. On closer inspection, there is a small slot concealed in a fold of the stone, just big enough for a finger. You see nothing but blackness. Intriguing. What's this? Slum's house. Maybe that's where this tome is hidden. Hmm? Okay, let's have a look inside and find out. We're in. It's pretty slummy, isn't it? 
Hooray, a chest. Mm. Insufficient skill again. I think they'd use this house, but no, apparently not. Of okay, we're back outside. Oh, coals! Nothing in here? Of course not. It would be on the map if we could go through there, man. Okay. Not in there. Not behind. Well, they may be behind the suspicious door, but. Uh, Shady Corbett. Oh, you. Here we go. You're out of your element down here. Am I? Am I? You appear to be out of your element anywhere going near a tattoo shop. You appear to be unable to control yourself. I'm looking for a thief who dared to steal from the shaper at. What makes you think I'm looking for anything? I'm no fool. Nobody just wanders around in Dust Town. You're here looking for me, and I don't like it. You've walked into a sodding fight, Warden, and I've already passed your stupid tome along. Too bad for you. They all sound like Jake the dog. Maybe it's the same dog on the yes. All right, Shady Corbett. Well, all good. All good. Everybody calm down. There we go. Let's not get a little all crazy. Let's just loot his corpse, though. <clears throat> proving receipt. A losing betting receipt crumbled in anger. These are only printed in the proving grounds. I see. So you can gamble on the outcome. Ooh, now I'm feeling like I want to step into the proving grounds and bet on myself. Maybe I could take a tumble. Ooh, it's so exciting, the idea of cheating at gambling. <clears throat> Do I have to fight if I go into the proving ground? That's what I want to know. Oh yeah, Brother Burkle, I uh, got him to convince them to put his little Andrade team in. teaches that patience is the child of wisdom, but I'm eager to hear if you've seen the Shaper. Looks like Henning Vane. I agree to let you hold, he agreed to let you hold clear meetings. Oh, praise the Maker! You truly walk in the light, friend. I already found the convert among the merchants who offered his shop as a temporary chantry. It's just by the tapsters. Please, come to our first service. Uh... I'm not particularly keen on the idea, to be quite honest, really. I'm all for you being able to practice your religion, but don't, don't pull me with it. <clears throat> I'm busy. I've got world to save. I've got world to save. Oh, look at that. Another wee nug. Wrangled into a box, ready for delivery. Okay, I've still got to go down the deep dark to... Uh, I wonder where the entrance to the deep dark is. Captain of the Guard. Captain of the Guard! I'm going to go in the proving ground, see what happens. It must have been very difficult for you and your mother to live always hiding from the Chantry and its hunters. Your pitying tone is as unwelcome as it is unnecessary, old woman. There was nothing difficult about our lives in the slightest. But surely you must have drawn notice from time to time. No matter how powerful you claim to be, you would not wish the full attention of the Chantry. Hunters did come into the wilds from time to time. They did not leave. And the interest of the Chantry was never aroused. I find that difficult to believe. I imagine you find many things difficult to believe. Your own preference for the leash you wear, for instance. There are good reasons for the world to fear mages, even despite our best intentions. Your best intentions, perhaps. Their fear concerns me not at all. Whatever. Right, into the proving. Okay, let's try again. Right click, into the proving. A few merchants around Ferelden stock backpacks that permanently increase your inventory's maximum capacity, making them worthwhile investments. Ooh, nice. Proving fan. 
Oh, I see. This is like a big sports thing. Coo coo. Don't kill each other in the arena, so violent. I mean, why would anyone find that entertaining? You'd be surprised. I heard a bunch of Harrowmont supporters dropped out at the last minute. Did you see that last fight? It was really something. This is so exciting. Is it? Proving Master. Good day, stranger. Welcome to the Proving Arena. We're still closed until the fighters make their preparations, but come back this afternoon if you want to watch the show. Sounds like fun. I'll come back then. What's approving? Oh, I forget you surfacers do things so differently. The provings are where the best fighters in Orsum are, prove their worth and the worth of their houses. Provings can also settle matters of honor. Whoever wins receives Valos of Tradum, the ancestor's blessing. Whoever loses is deemed unworthy. All judgments in the ring are final. And there's a proving happening today. Spaven called a citywide proving this afternoon to honor King Endrin's memory. All the best fighters in Orzammar will face each other in sight of the ancestors and win honor for their champions. Exciting stuff. Enjoy our grand city. I will enjoy your grand city. What's through here? Nothing? How about here? Nothing yet. If the fight isn't going on at the moment, why is everybody cheering? Can you tell me that? Not possible to pick. I see. There's one well, I can't unlock. Okay, so I fight in the provings for Harrowmont or. Templars are warriors that exist to monitor majors and hunt down those that go rogue. Bugger! I saw that text as soon as I saw it was three, four lines long. There was no way I was reading that out. I should have just left it. I should have just let everybody look at it on the screen and go... What's this? It's a sock. It's a filthy sock. How did it find its way to my bedroll? Maybe it likes you. Socks are sneaky like that. Anyway, it's not mine. It has your name stitched on it. Oh, <laughs> Uh, part of Templar training back at the Chantry, the men were uh, always getting their socks mixed up. Uh, anyway, um, sorry about that. I'll take it from you right now. One of my socks is really damp anyway. It changes my eyes. You're going to put it on? It's, it's filthy. And dry. Not anyway. exactly traveling in the lap of luxury here. Hideous habits you've picked up. see what happens in here again. Oh, I appear to have hit a little glitch there. There we go. Ah, they're watching the pre-game show, I see. They've got Rihanna or some such warbling away. Are they going to start singing again? Is that just a one-time show? Come on, they were singing in some crazy dwarven language. The deep ropes aren't for the faint heart. I know, I can't bloody find them. They're a right pain in the arse. Anyone here got a quest marker over their head? Yes? No? Let's talk to this guy again. He seems to have opinions. I wasn't expecting you back. I guess you realize this is about the only fun in Orzammar? I realized, yes. What do you think of the candidates for king? I doubt either candidate has been outside the diamond quarter in his life. But Lord Harrowmont seems a bit more forgiving. Prince Balin's brilliant, I'll give him that. And subtle as sin. I don't think anything in Orzammar matters more to him than winning. I think I might have to go for Harrowmont. As you wish. All the signs point to Balin being a dick and Harrowmont being, you know, competent. <clears throat> Nevin. Oh yeah, Nevin was talking about the deep dark. How do I get to the deep dark? Deep, deep dark. So we can go to Dust Town. We can chat with Legnar. You know what? Are there any objections in chat to me just siding with Lord Harrowmont and going into the proving? 
Does anybody think I've missed something? Is there something I should be doing instead of taking sides here? Or is my guess... <laughs> okay, map. <coughs> what have we got? Deep roads. Ah! Uh, I get ya! I understand! So, I must have to go up here, I presume. Where are the steps up to this... Hall of Heroes? Figor's Imports? Jaina Armors, Tapster's Tavern, Osmar Chantry, General Goods Merchant, Dust Town, The Proving Grounds. Gem Merchant, Diamond Quarter. Well, I like being in the Diamond Quarter. Let's have a look, see if we've been in the Diamond Quarter. A rogue who attacks while stealthed is guaranteed a critical hit on the first attack, provided the attack is successful. Okay, where are we? Have I been to the Diamond Quarter before? This looks... I have been here, haven't I? You have come at a difficult time. Orzammar is here for want of a king. Yep. Lord Harrowant is the voice of tradition and stability. Let's head into the Harrowant Estate and see what we're doing. Doolin! Do you see how things lie, Warden? Lord Harrowant cannot trust you with proof. He welcomes a good faith gesture. <sighs> right, I'm going to need to give the time, the chat time to catch up here, but I'm asking the chat now, all of yous, do I take a side now or should I try and get to the deep roads first? Which is the optimum path? Deep roading, then harrowmonting, or harrowmonting, then deep roading? Because I've decided now, I'm not. I'm not back in Balaam. He seems like a tool, an idiot, a fool, a numpty, a, a ding dong. A, 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 yeah, that, that's it. That's good. Ding dong. I'll stick with ding dong. He seems like a, a bloody ding dong. Um, right. I still haven't decided if I want to help you. Terry, proving starts this afternoon. I know, I know, but I've got to wander around for a bit before I get an opinion from the crowd. Roll a dice. Do I have to acquire a dice? Or indeed, a die. Because the singular of dice is die. Dora the Explorer. I'm, I'm unfamiliar with Dora the Explorer. It is like crazy, I know, because I've got a three-year-old. But we don't have any of the channels that Dora the Explorer is on. So I see merchandise. I, I see little trailers for Nickelodeon and whatnot. But I'm unfamiliar with Dora. She speaks Spanish, I believe. Okay, pass on. Okay, so I'm still in the Harrowmont Estate. What's down here? This looks like an exciting little side passage. A noble. House Harrowmont is honoured to have you here. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate your gratitude. What's in here? Let's have a look. Oh, this is a rather nice little room, isn't it? Tercy and a noble. Oh, you're named. Let's talk to you. You must be under great strain with the blight upon the land. I will pray to the stone for you. She will. Don't mind me, I'm just looting all your shit. Ah, oh, insufficient skill. A little bit of nicking, a little bit of stealing, a little bit of robbery. Except it's not robbery because robbery contains threats and or violence. Let's examine this picture of um, someone. <clears throat> well, that was good examining. I enjoyed that. I'm gonna have to. I, I should get up and get a glass of water because I keep coughing and spluttering all over the place. So, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. If you bear with me, people, I'm gonna get up for a second. I'm gonna have a glass of water with me, and then I'm gonna come back with a dice, a die indeed, and I'm going to roll to see what's what and what I shall do first. Bear with me one moment. I will be back. I don't know why I was holding that into my ear as though that was how you heard me. It's definitely not. It would be silliness of me to behave like that. Okay, are there dice in here? Ah, here we go. We've got a D10. Look at that. Beautiful green D10. Let's uh, have a bit of water out me. Ah, 
there we go. I have refreshment. I can continue. <coughs> Stick in the old headphone. Slouch to the appropriate height for my face to be visible. And we take the dice. Okay, so odds we go to the deep roads first evens we take sides and we get the political ball rolling here we go actually what did i say odds odds the deep dark here we go it's a nine it's a nine let's just confirm that it's a nine make sure it's a nine here comes the microscope what have we got show me show me oh no the microscope's broken problematic at best Here we go, we'll go back to Dragon Age Origins, I'll pick the camera up and I'll show you. That's a 9, I know it looks like a 6, but the line's at the bottom, it's a 9. <coughs> that means it's the deep dark. Deep, deep dark. Oh, there we go. We do drink from the tap in the UK. Where do you think this is? Uh, <coughs> okay. No, wait. No, no, no. I, no, I still haven't decided. I mean, I have decided, but I'm not. I'm not telling you. I'm going down the deep dark. Deep, deep dark. Oh, hello. Paramount study. Okay, no, that's not. Do you not drink from the tap in uh, Sweden? That's it. We're in civilized countries. I thought so. I was thinking, oh my, what is it in Sweden? Not drinking from the taps? That's crazy. Well, it's not crazy if you live in a country where you shouldn't drink from the taps. <coughs> Robes don't help much as you think against as much as you'd think against swords and axes. Keep your mages at a safe distance. Well, who thinks robes are going to be a suitable um, You're the best defense? I've ever seen. More nugs or more wranglers? <coughs> uh, don't drink out of the hot tap in the UK. If we drink out of the cold tap, it'll come straight from the mains. Um, I imagine there are some paranoid people who don't. And I imagine there are water filter companies that spend quite a lot of money advertising that you should probably use a water filter, but um, bollocks. It's much better now I've got a glass of water. I feel like reinvigorated. I could talk for hours and hours. I won't. I won't though. Um, so, where was I going? The deep dark. Deep, deep dark. Okay. Uh, that must be through the Hall of Heroes then. Head for the Hall of Heroes! Minerals like Firestone and Frost Rock can be used to create balms that offer protection from various forms of elemental magic. Magic. Oh, hang on, this is the entryway, isn't it? Okay, this does not appear to be the route to the deep dark. Well, have a lovely evening or uh, day or whatever time it is where you are. You can set your party to target the enemy with the highest or lowest health. Nice. Nice. Toodle Pip, old bean. Enjoy your Friday or Saturday, depending on what side of the timeline you're on. What's this? Crinkle cut cobblers? Ah, there's a nug. Let us retrieve the nug. Hmm. <laughs> I will deliver the nug. Okay, what we got? Mines commander, soldier, soldier, soldier. Let's uh, quickly <coughs> save the game so we have somewhere to come back to, and we'll talk to the mines commander. What's this? Sorry, but I cannot allow you past the front lines without Adesha's permission. And I've heard nothing of any new patrol scheduled to leave today. What I'm doing here is none of your business. Will you let me pass? Why do you need patrols? Into the deep roads? Not without a full unit of soldiers to back you, my friend. Or Adesha's permission to risk yourself. 
Ozamar can't afford to lose its citizens or honored guests on casual visits to the deeps. A dark spawn the only danger in these tunnels? What do you know about Paragon Branca? What anyone knows? She went out to <coughs> her entire house and she's never coming back. You don't think maybe she's still there, Commander? She is a Paragon, after all. And now she's an ancestor. No one lasts two years in the tunnels. Maybe she did. Of course not. Down here, you're bound to run into giant spiders, deep stalkers, and other vermin. Deep stalkers? Ugly beasts they are. Walk on two legs, <clears throat> but they have the head of a worm and hunt in packs. Watch out. They're not afraid to take on a group their own size. Hmm. Are there no dwarves past this point? A few outposts. Legion of the dead, mostly. Fools that they are. Some scavenger types, too. Hmm. It's an independent company of soldiers. They accept no command but their own. Anyone who can bear arms can join, no matter his crimes or sanity. They hold a funeral when they join and swear their only goal is a glorious death. Into the deep roads? Not without a fool. Okay, so I need to get a permission from someone. guests on I, for your sake, can I not just sneak past? You can't get enough of our clammy mine air, can you? Did you need something? No. I, for so it looks sake, like I've got to do Haramont no anyway. To come here again. I've got plenty of reason to go down there again. There's a little boy I'm looking for. I've got to find this paragon, dead or alive. And more importantly, I just want to see what's down there and soak up some XP. Oh, hello, Nug Wrangler. There's another You're one for the you. Best Wrangler I've ever seen. I'll bet there are. Um, right, where do I want to go next? So. <clears throat> Gem Merchant, Feigl's Imports, Hall of Heroes, Jenna Armors, Tapster's Tavern, Dust Town, Osmar Chantry. If I go to the Diamond Quarter and agree to fight for them, that's what I should do. Tactics can make your team work together. For instance, you can command a warrior to intercept enemies who go after your mage. Ooh. Zutalor. Mon Dieu. Mmm. Lord Balin is a bad, bad man. Yes, very bad. <sighs> you need to get better. Propagandists. Do you see how things lie, Warden? Lord Harriman cannot trust you in proof, but he welcomes a good faith gesture. Hey, base on Mars. Does this guy remind you of anybody? <laughs> Perhaps a family member? <laughs> <coughs> right, uh, right. Um, Vartag wants me to show people that Harriman is a cheat. You spoke to him even after our discussion is not reassuring. So have you decided to earn my lord's trust, or will you throw your lot in with the snakes? I'll enter the proving and see why the others withdrew. Excellent. The arena is located off the commons. Talk to the proving master and tell him you're entering Lord Harriman's roster. The key fighters we lost were Guidon and Beisel. You can look at them in the fighters' preparation chambers behind the ring. And be sure it's before the fights begin, after the first bout. No one may change the roster. If you need to find me again, I will wait in the Tapster's Tavern off the Commons. There is no better place to hear gossip. Perhaps even word of your victory. Okay, we're off. Oh, no, no, I'm not going to Harriman's study. Let's head back to the Diamond Quarter. Bye bye, Butler. Bye bye, Bold Butler. If he was crying, I could say bye bye, bald, bawling butler. But he's not crying, so I can't. Oh, right, back to the proving. Two years tomorrow. By all the holy sodding ancestors, how can you people just ignore that? They say that? sodding a lot. Franca didn't go alone, Arthur. She took the whole house, everybody but you. Just get over to Tapsters and drown yourself already. 
You know as well as I do, that's how this always ends. It always ends. I'm afraid of some cub warrior who's barely off the teach. <laughs> I'll... You lift a weapon or attack a single citizen in Orzammar, and you're stripped of your cast in exile. Even you can't have forgotten that. Get out of here before I call a guardsman. Talk to me. You want to come to the deep dark with me? Yeah? No? Okay, whatever. And so I <laughs> shall. Grey Wardens possess the right of conscription. Oh, crap. I didn't get to read that. So. Let us head to the Proving. So, I've been hearing rumor that a certain wine merchant is falling behind on his payments. I, I, I can't imagine what you mean. I, I pay my expenses. What about the expenses your good friend Jarvia incurs to providing the protection? It's not easy ensuring nothing bad happens, that no one decides to just burn everything in your store. My store! Please, I don't have much. Business isn't good. People are scared. T tell Jarvie I'll get her money. I... Jarvie is not happy with your promises, old man. Now let's go inside and see what you've been holding back. Hey, 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 hey. have right now. I could get more if I sell something. Well, well. Looks like we have a visitor. Friend of yours. Is there a problem here, friend? Are these men threatening you? Please, don't get involved with this. You don't know what they're like. Then allow me to make some introductions. These are dangerous times in Orzammar, stranger. Lucky us, the merciful Jarvia is offering protection from the chaos. You're wearing some fancy stuff there. Might make you a target. So if you want the Carter's guarantee of safety, it's yours for the reasonable price of ten gold sovereigns. Or I can't say what might happen. Should I intimidate? Hmm. Whoa, whoa! All right, you win. I'm not gonna die for ten lousy sovereigns. That's right, fool. Get out of here. Let's talk to Fargo. Ancestors, bless you for saving my poor store. I don't know how to express my gratitude. You could start by letting me look around your store. What do you know about this, Javier? I. I'd never met her, of course. They say she never leaves Dust Town. That's uh, the older area of the city where the castless congregate. She's the one directing this depravity. Since Good King Endron died, they're getting bolder. They used to be a problem only in Dust Town, but now they're in the commons shaking honest men down for coin. <sighs> what do you know about her carter? A band of castless thugs. They're to blame for all the crime in Orzammar these days. They're criminals, and the children of criminals. The ancestors themselves declared them irredeemable. Hmm. Uh, they're children as well, you go that far? Their births are abominations. They were born from no Kalna, with no acknowledgement by the Shapers. They are destined to be criminals. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm grateful for your help, but I don't think we have any more to talk about. Nighty night, Cosmonaut Numerit. Cosmonaut Numerit. Have a lovely sleep. It is significantly harder to hit a target when shooting ranged weapons past their optimum range. Here we go, straight for the Proving Master. Ha, you're back. Did you wish to fight in the Proving today? You bet your beard I do. 
I'd like to fight as Lord Haramont's champion. Well, that's a surprise. Never thought the Grey Wardens would take an interest in our king. Let me just put you into the schedule here. Now, is there a particular name you wish listed? I am Scoundrel of the Grey Wardens. You may call me Scoundrel. Call me whatever you like. Hmm. We'll just call you Grey Warden, seeing as those human names are a real bird to pronounce. We actually have an opening in the first round. Are you ready to start? Ready and eager. Who will I be fighting? Looks like Suwerin's drawn first bout. He was one of the youngest champions ever. Beat his own father at 12 years old. All for the right to earn his battle status two years early. Are you ready to start? Uh, what is the rules? Start at the gong and go to first blood. No eye gouging, no groin pulls. The rules of each bout will be announced when it starts. You should be comfortable with normal weapons and lyrium enhanced weapons in single combat, pairs, or battle units. Are you ready to start? Yeah, let's get cracking. That's what I like <clears throat> to hear. I will warn you though. This is your last chance to make preparations or meet the competition. Once the fights begin, there are no new additions to the roster. All withdrawals are treated as losses and a sign of the ancestors' disfavor. Do you want to start or would you like some time? The fighters' quarters are behind the ring. Oh, I better explore first. On second thought, I'll Come be back, back in a moment. You'll be fighting the bout as soon as both fighters are ready. Okay. Okay. One of these big doors. Oh, hello. Look, I already told the proving master I withdrew. Do you have to keep harassing me? I've never seen you before in my life. Who are you? What are you talking about? Not if you have that attitude. Goodbye. Nor I you, but it's pretty obvious who you're working for. Who do you think I'm working for? So I take it you weren't sent here to find out if I withdrew from the proving. In that case, never mind. If you tell me what's happening, I could help you. Look, it's just, when I was younger, I had a thing with this Idukin girl, Revelka. Lesser cousin, nowhere near the throne. Her family wanted her marrying up, so they matched her with a BMO. But we didn't exactly a stop seeing each other. So you're being blackmailed? Spit it out! So you're afraid your affair will be exposed. And now Balin's found out. So what? Balin's fighter, Miyaja, showed me love letters they have, from Revelka to me. If I fight, they'll expose us. <sighs> I can get those letters back. You do that? I don't know how to thank you. I, I know it's my own fault, but I'd have married her if I could. Balin's fighter, Miyaja, has the letters. If you make sure she never shows them to anyone, I'll fight for Harrowmont again. But you need to find them quickly. Registrations close once the first bout starts. Okay, okay, okay. Let's talk to some more people here. Barrick. Let's talk to Barrick. Is it Barrick? Watch for Piotr Naidukin. He's won the squad combat four years running. He has 11 decapitations so far. He needs just three more for the one season record. Hmm, isn't that nice? I guess you've watched a lot of provings then. Do you know anything about the fighters? <laughs> Do I know anything? Let me tell you, Selraka. If Varric doesn't know it, it didn't happen in this ring. You want anyone in particular? Tell me about Surin. That halfwit? Picked up a sword at twelve and beat his own moron of a father. Since then, every woman in the warrior caste swoons for him. Maya and Lucan. They have a nice act going. Miyaja runs up front with that big hammer, and everyone's heard it's got lyrium vein through it. Then Luke John goes all quiet like and dirks you in the back. <sighs> what do you know about the Silent Sisters? You always get a good response from the crowd. People love the whole martyr cut out your own tongue to please the ancient paragon thing. And they can back it up. Mean fighters, a lot of them. No difference one to the next, though. They dress alike, look alike. Gets a little dull eventually. Hmm. I was hoping you'd seen Wojek Evo in action. Now there's the showman. Never does the same thing twice. They say he commissions a new weapon after every proving. I've seen him take out staves with daggers. 
axis with shields, and mace shield plate combos with double axis. People bet on how he wins, not if. Hmm. Tell me about Piotin Erdogan. Ooh, Piotin's a monster. He, he's like a rock slide, a force of nature. Blink and bam, you're dead. And if he's fighting with his team, you'd better watch out. Last time they fought, the entire front row got showered in blood. Hmm. Front row seats at every grand proving since my father took me on his shoulders. My name's Varek. I got a controlling interest in a mine off the old roosting tag. But my backers know not to hand me a pick any day there's blood on the stone, if you know what I mean. Interesting. So the proving's just the tournament? Sure. Like King Endrin was just a noble. A proving is a sacred art. Any dispute brought to the proving round is settled by the ancestor's decision. And no one can protest it. Hmm. What are the rules? They change from round to round. <clears throat> sometimes it's bare hands, sometimes weapons, sometimes pairs or squads. It's announced when the fight begins. That's about all the warning anyone gets. Have you ever fought in Me? one? Are you out of your mind? I'm a miner, not a warrior. <clears throat> I'm telling you, Piotin will take the prize. You can put gold on it. Well, if I can find somewhere to place a bet, I'm going to bet that I win. So where are the rest of these people? <clears throat> Round here, I assume. What do we got? Fixer Greddy. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Chicken? Alright, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I get a mind blast, please? There we go. Alright, let's find the boss again. Where is he? Still focusing on that guy, or is he dead already? He's dead already. Let's uh, out the out of here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Uh, I'm used to being while we're at it. Attention, oh, him. Ah, tits, he's gone down. That means we're going to have to use revival. What? Scoundrel didn't go up as well? That's not good. Combat over. Let's go. Oh, you've leveled up. Let's level him up. What have we got? Strength and strength. Okay. <laughs> Good. Bravery. The warrior's unwavering courage grants bonuses to damage, physical resistance, and mental resistance, as well as a bonus to critical chance that increases proportionally to the number of enemies above two that the warrior is engaging. Bloody hell. It's a bit of a mindful, isn't it? Hmm. 
Hmm. Difficult choice. Hmm. Hmm. Let's go with bravery. Okay. Any loot? Of course, there's some loot. Lyrium potion. Oh, a volley. Oh, it's the history book that they stole. <laughs> this deal was all their making, Ward. Technically, I haven't done anything wrong. We have no business. Unless you want to make a few points. Not that I'm suggesting anything. But you're holding the prize now. You don't care who you get this shaper at tome from? You know what? I'll take the deal. I should shut you down hard. I have a collector in mind. <coughs> Who actually sells the item doesn't matter. It's your call. As always, I let people make their own decisions. Who are a creep. Yes, well, I'll keep my nose clean until you're long gone. How about that? I'm just a businessman. I merely exploit opportunities. I won't get in your way. You better not. Not disturb me. I must meditate before my fight. Hello, Gwyneth. You doing the fights? I don't remember seeing you before. Well, I am a good two foot taller than everybody here, so you'd probably recognize me. Are you one of the fighters? You don't get out much. I'm scoundrel of the Grey Wardens. I'm just looking around. I'm fighting this champion, Lord Harmont. Was. Name's Guidon. Just tendered my resignation. Somehow, I don't think the ancestors will favor me today. Why did you resign? It's not so much what happened as what's going to. I heard from a reliable source Lord Harrimont's already given up the throne. Balin called this whole proving to let his lordship save face when he concedes. Where did you hear this? That's more reliable than a member of the assembly. Uh, persuade. I heard it from Harrimont himself. Should I intimidate him? Hmm. I, uh, I suppose there's nothing his lordship would do without consulting Doolin. He's always been his top man. Maybe you're right. I I'm just a warrior. I've always tried to stay out of these noble politics. If I find out this whole thing was some flunky of Balin's lying to me for his own gain, I'll... I'll... Get back in the proving ground and knock some heads? Maybe I will at that. There we go. Oh, I've got an achievement. I'm a bully, apparently. Oh, that's not how I look at it. <laughs> Crikey, it's been strong, isn't it? What have we got up here? Metal door. Okay, let's talk to the rest of the people here first. I've never check. understood why everyone thinks the Grey Wardens are so great. Prince Valen will be happy to hear I've flattened you into the dirt. Hmm, okay. Forget the politics, I'll win the whole thing myself. When the sun shines in Orzammar, yeah, I think I'm going to pull your bollocks out of your throat. You looking at something? Yeah, you. You looking at something? Come on, Titch, let's rumble. Fine then, ignore me. I don't care. Greetings, I'm Scoundrel of the Grey Wardens. Don't take it personally. Hanashan's a member of the Silent Sisters. She doesn't talk to anyone. Uh. One of the Silent Sisters. They're an order of female warriors, founded by Astith the Grey, a woman of the warrior caste who first fought for women's right to be soldiers. When no one listened to her words, Astith cut out her tongue and dedicated herself to training until she won a grand proving barehanded. The woman who joined her order cut out their tongues in her honor. Well, that doesn't sound extreme at all. Whose side are you two on? The Silent Sisters support the Sitting King. They are loyal servants to the Idukans. Hmm. Then may both our efforts triumph. 
May the ancestors choose their champion wisely. I've no idea what she's banging on about, but you know, may as well be polite if she's being polite before we begin the uh, kicking in of heads. Fine to see you here, Warden. A number of people have told me they hope to see you in the Provings. It's a rare opportunity to fight against someone so exotically trained. In fact, a few were hoping you'd take part in some informal action. I'm game. What do you have in mind? Assembly restricted, not illegal. All that ritual lets nobles rationalize it's not a blood sport. They don't like commoners using the arena for petty squabbles. Some of us prefer an honest spectacle. And sometimes someone needs a good beating, and all that talking gets in the way. I'm game. Say the word and I'll line up a team from one of the younger houses. They don't often get a chance to test themselves in the provings. They're a hungry bunch who employ unusual tactics. Understand that there's no concern for fairness here. Your battles will be hard won. Mm-hmm. Who am I facing and what do I get for it? The younger houses are interested in unorthodox tactics. Many hire mercenaries to augment traditional strengths. Anything goes is a fair description. Hmm. Think of small payouts, maybe a bonus from time to time. But this isn't about money. It's about skill and the chance to show it. Ah, XP. I'll come back for some action later, because we're oh, getting close to midnight now, and I'm not sure I want to get engaged in a long stream of uh, battles just yet. I may have to just look around, find all the people, <clears throat> and then uh, and we're away. Surely I should be able to find whoever had those uh, papers. Prince Bale will plant his throne on your trampled corpse. And I am going to stick my fist up your ass. So, uh, sounds about even, doesn't it? Okay, that's the fighters room. There must be another lot on the other side. We go. There we go. Yeah. You must be the Grey Warden. Luke John said one of you signed up. They said the Warden's here to fight for Haramon. I guess we'll have to show what kind of tricks we learn in Orzammar. I hear you've been threatening Haramon's fighters. Is that an accusation? It's illegal to threaten proving fighters outside the ring. Not helping them keep their dirty secrets, though. That's another story. It's a private matter. You shouldn't interfere. I'd like to see those letters. That's a good point. I hadn't thought of it that way. You haven't been here long. You'll learn soon enough. Nothing in Orzammar is private. As long as someone can find out. Come on, Luke John. We have a fight to prepare for. I'm gonna kill you. Didn't I say I need to concentrate? There's plenty of time to congratulate me after the fight. I'm told I'll be fighting you in round one. Do you know much about the other fighters? Tell me about your career. So you're the Grey Warden? It's an honor. Really, a privilege. You hear so much about the Wardens. They say on the surface, they're the only ones who fight Darkspawn, and everyone hails them as heroes, and... Uh, are you taking recruits? Never mind, I have to go. I don't have the authority. Actually, I'm building an army to fight the next Blight. Sure, come with me. I'll make you a Warden. And do you know much about the other fighters? A Blight? That must mean you want recruits. I bet you're here best fighters. Am I right? I can't make you into a warden, but you could join our travels. I'm glad you're eager. Most people here don't seem to care. Do you know much about the other fighters? I can't make I don't think I can make it. Really? Warden. That would... That would be great. I always wanted to travel with the wardens. See the world. Oh, and uh, best of luck in the ring. 
Okay, good. We will pick him up for a thing. Uh, can't get into Maya's quarters. All right. Putin. So you're the Grey Warden Lord Harrowmont brought in to replace his missing fighters. I'm fighting for Harrowmont because he's the rightful king. You're a sycophant who fights when his cousin snaps. Save it for the ring. If you're trying to insult me with my loyalty to my house, you'll find it's a tough road to hew. There is no greater virtue than family loyalty. But I'd hardly expect a surfacer to know that. Bullshit. You will learn nothing more here to bring to your master. Up yours. Okay. So have I spoken to everybody? Or is... You are quickly overstepping your you are quickly overstepping your welcome. You're gonna die. I mean seriously, I'm gonna kill you. Definitely. You do not have access to the quick save button. Maybe I can't get this guy back in by retrieving his letters, but where'd he go? There he is, Beisel. <clears throat> the proving's almost starting. I should leave if you haven't found anything. I've got to pick that door and I can't pick the lock. <sighs> if you want me to register, you'll have to hurry. The lists close after the first bout. I feel like I've exhausted all the options here before going into the ring, so we will save the battle for the next stream, I think. I'm going to do another quick, quick save. And it is time for me to stop Dragon Age origining and get on with my life. Oh, actually, I've been deafened. Oof, let's use an injury kit first. Um, inventory, lesser injury kit. Has anyone else got an injury? Whoa! <laughs> <coughs> oh, an injury kit will do three injuries. Let's use one of them then. Okay, cool. Everybody's up to scratch. We're saved. And now, it's time to end. Well, thank you very much for watching YouTube. I hope you enjoyed that. If you watched it all the way through to the end, then amazing. You're a, a godlike human being, and uh, your attention blesses me. Um, yeah, see you later. Bye, YouTube.